I'm Ms. Artastic, and today I'm going to show you how to draw an ibis. Grab your favorite mark making mediums and something to color with, and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to draw our ibis. We're going to start on one side with drawing the top of the head with a curving line down for the neck, up for the back. And we'll add zigzag lines at the end for the tip of the wing and tail. Next, we're gonna do the beak. So we're gonna go out, around and down, then bring it back up for the beak. We're going to draw a circle on the head for the eye Then we'll bring the line down, sweep it under the chest, add a small curve or wide V for the thigh, and then we'll add another layer of zigzag lines for the tail, just to elongate it and add further texture. Now we're gonna draw the legs. Two lines out. Sweep it down. And then we'll put a second leg in. That's a little bit shorter because it's in the distance and because it's on the other side of the body. Next, we'll draw the wing. So a nice long sweeping line Curve it around. Zigzag lines along the bottom for the texture of feathers. A series of curved lines and then you can do larger U shapes for more feather texture. And if you would like, you can add some hatching lines along there and along the bottom of the body. I'm gonna add some lines where the colors wanna change from black to white and then black again. Now, I am gonna add an oval there for the beak where the nostril will be. And now we're gonna draw the ripples of water. So, I'm gonna draw just curvy lines around the legs to create the effect that it looks like it's standing in water. Just like that. So a lot more concentrated close together and as the ripples move away, it calms down and loses its effect. And now we're ready to color. I'm going to just use felt markers and pencil crayons to complete my drawing. First, I'm gonna use my black felt marker. And I'm going to color in the head And I'm also going to add some black to the tail. Oh, and I'll of course do the legs. There we go. Now I'll use my black pencil crayon to fill in the rest, just so it has some variety in the value. Very cute. Next, we'll take our gray 
we're gonna add some shading on the white body. So go along the underside of the wing. You can put a little bit on the top as well if you want. And then along the underside of the body. You can also put a little bit of gray right at the center where the legs meet the water. And now we're ready for pencil crayon. So back to the black. We're gonna add some shading with the pe black pencil crayon on the wings, so under the layers of feathers. So being mindful that we want to keep most of it white. You can add a little bit of black in the water ripples. Now we're going to take white. Oops. And we're going to add some highlights to the head. So we're gonna brighten up that eye so it's a little bit bigger. Same with the nostril. And we're gonna add white along the top of the head and along the top of the beak. And you can add some to the tail as well. And if you want, you can add some texture lines, so some hatching lines with the white, and add some details to the legs as well. And that will just create some contrast and add some highlights to and value to your artwork. And finally, we're going to grab a blue and we're gonna color in that water just around the areas that we've added lines. So I'm just holding my pencil crown on the side and pressing dark around the center here. I'm just gonna lightly add some blue here and there. And just like that, your artwork is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, MsArtastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.